I want to do a walkthrough of how you can connect your Reflect Notes to your email client using a program called Zapier. Zapier connects different apps together using their APIs. And in this demonstration, we're going to connect my Gmail account so that when I star an email, it appends it to my daily note within Reflect. So to begin with, you'll of course need a Zapier account. So go ahead and create that. And then once you appear on the home screen here, you can click Create Zap. And to start with, I use Gmail, so I'm going to connect that. But you can select whatever email client you use as long as it is an available app within Zapier. And for the event, I'm going to select a new starred email so that when I star an email, this action happens. On my account, a quick disclaimer here. Currently, you have to use a business account for Gmail. That means my Sam at Reflect app email will work, but my Samuel R. Clausen at gmail.com will not work because it's a personal email. Hopefully we can get this approved with Gmail on their Zapier app and you'll be able to use it on any account. But for now, it will only work on a business email account. All right. So now to test trigger, this is basically just going to check for an email that I've recently starred. So make sure that you have in fact starred an email recently. And it found the test email that I did in fact star. You can kind of ignore the information here. The only real important thing is that it did in fact find an email to use for this test. All right, so now we're gonna connect it to reflect. Select event, I'm going to append it to daily note because when I'm trying to reach email inbox zero, I usually wanna just stay in my email client. I don't wanna to have to toggle back and forth. And I'm going to turn those into to-do lists. So I want that to exist in my daily note. All right, choosing an account. My reflect number two, that's just my test account that I'm using for this demonstration video. Continue. All right, and now we're setting up the action. This is basically just field mapping to what you want to appear in your note. So for the text, I want to start with the subject. I want it to say who it's from and then include the body text. Put that in whatever order you want to. For the date, I'm going to select the current date because I could select the date from the data in the email here, but what that would do would append the note to the previous day of whatever the email was from. So in case the email was not from the current day, I want it to append to the daily note of whatever day I'm on. All right, list name, I'm going to leave that blank. That's optional. Transform type, you can leave that as list append and just ignore that. For your graph ID, you're going to want to enter your reflect graph ID. So for me, for my demonstration graph, it's Sam Clausen next. So I will enter that. We will continue and then now we're going to test it. So when I click test action here, it's actually going to run the event. So if it works, it should actually put the email within my room. That's a good sign. Perfect. A daily note was sent to reflect about one second ago. So let's take a look. There we go. So subject line demo videos from Sam Clothin because it was from myself and the message. So what I typically do here is then within my daily note, I'm going to have probably a to-do list for the day. And then I'm just going to turn that into a to-do list. And maybe I just want to rephrase it so that it actually kind of sounds good. Perfect. And there we go. So you can see if you were doing this for your whole inbox, you could have a system where you go through all of your emails, get the email inbox zero, then pop back over into Reflect and you've just got bullet points of all your to-dos from your inbox. One last step, once you've confirmed that everything's working how you want to, you can go ahead and click publish here. I'm not gonna publish mine because I actually already have this integration published on my main account. But once you publish that, it will be live on your account and you can just run that process every morning.